Welcome to this video lecture on sorting data in Excel. Now, basic Excel sorting of data. You're going to be sorting either in ascending order or descending order. Ascending order meaning A to Z, smallest to largest when dealing with numbers, oldest to newest when dealing with dates. Descending order for text, Z to A, for numbers, largest to smallest, and for dates, newest to oldest. We also have in Excel the custom sort. What is this? The custom sort feature is when you can sort by different columns or multiple levels. So if you have data in multiple columns, such as say your first name in one column, your last name in another, and you would like to sort them as you would a telephone directory. For example, maybe you want all of the last names, say Smiths, together and then within the Smiths sorted by first name, you would need to do a custom sort. It's also very important for other functionality within Excel. Some of the Excel functions, such as subtotals, it's imperative that you have your data sorted correctly first and on occasion you want to use multiple subtotals so you need to have multiple levels of sort. You also have in Excel the custom list sorting feature. This is the feature where you can put things in a particular order based not on say alphabet A to Z, date order or numeric order but instead on a specific order you choose. One of the most common that's already built in are those using dates. For example, you may want to sort by month and you don't want those in alphabetic order. You want them to be in order as they come in the calendar. So you would want January, February, March and so on. You can also do the same thing with days of the week. You do, again don't want those in alphabetic order. You want them in the order in which they come in the week, starting for most of us in the U.S. with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. This is found under the custom sort function. You have different ways to get to sorting within Excel. You can get to it on the home ribbon. You can also get to it on the data ribbon and then you can do it through filtering. So let's take a look at all of those. Here in the widget R Us worksheet. On the home ribbon we have over here in the editing group we have editing and under editing we have the sort and filter. Here we have sort smallest to largest or A to Z. It's coming up smallest to largest because my current cell is in column D and that's a numeric field currently. Largest to smallest or Z to A. Custom sort etc. here. So I can get to them this way. I can also go over to the data ribbon and here I find the A to Z, the Z to A and the custom sort or just the sort button. Now in this example I have filters turned on so I could just click down on the filters button for a particular column and select the sort options there. When I'm doing filtering here, I would be filtering based on the contents of that column only. In order to reach the custom sort option, I have to use the sort button here on the data ribbon or the custom sort option on the home ribbon. Now, here I have four columns. So I have four choices that I can sort by and if I pull the drop down arrow on the level, the first level of sorting. You can see here I can choose between sales date, day of the week, widget type, and sale total. I could put in here by day of the week, show me, next level, and then this maybe I want to sort by sales total and I want to put the largest first. If I do this I will get for all the days of the week together, no matter when they occurred during the year. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see here are all my Fridays. 
and within my Fridays my amounts are going from largest to smallest and then here are all my Mondays on this sort I didn't specify to put my days of the week in custom sort order so let's go back and take a look at that so on day of the week I could have chosen custom sort list under order and here if I select Sunday Monday Tuesday they'll go into the order we think of them in most commonly the day in days of the week as they happen on our calendar and so you'll see here because I have no sales on Sundays and Saturdays I start out on Mondays go on down to Tuesdays and so on so that's a quick overview of sorting and sorting is very important and very useful